The Earth's climate system is driven by two things. The way energy from the sun moves in and out of the atmosphere and the way heat moves around the atmosphere and the oceans. Energy from the sun is the main driver for our climate system. When the energy from the sun reaches the atmosphere, some is absorbed and some is reflected, mainly from clouds. Most of the remaining energy heats the Earth's surface, although again a tiny fraction is reflected. The Earth's surface then loses its heat again through rising air currents, radiation and the evaporation of water. Some of this heat passes straight through the atmosphere and back to space but some is absorbed by greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, water vapour, methane and ozone. Most of the air, nitrogen and oxygen, doesn't do this. The atmosphere re-emits the absorbed heat. Some escapes to space, but some heats the Earth's surface again. Eventually all the heat escapes into space, but not before the temperature of the Earth has been raised enough to allow us to survive. If the greenhouse gases didn't absorb and re-emit heat, we wouldn't be able to live on Earth. If nothing else happened in the Earth's climate system, weather and climate wouldn't change across the globe. However, the Sun's energy is distributed unevenly across the globe. Because the Earth tilts, the Sun's intensity changes at different latitudes and in different seasons. Generally, there is more heat near the equator than there is at the poles. In this example, the variation is shown during the northern hemisphere winter.